How you guys doing? My name is Mike. Welcome to the video. This is Q&A Saturdays. This is a new segment that we are running. This is our second one. Pretty much on Saturdays, we're going to answer some questions that you guys may have had during the week that you have sent me in an email submission. And I'm going to try and better help you guys understand how to sell on Poshmark, how to increase your sales, through the use of automation software and yes Poshmark bots so let's jump right into it the software that we use is called Poshmark Pro Tools um, me and my team have developed this uh, it's it's about a little more than a year old now and uh, it's growing exponentially we're getting more and more users every single day and uh, getting a lot of positive feedback so thank you guys for that appreciate it if you guys enjoy the videos please like and subscribe hit the bell bell icon and it will give you a notification every time we put out a video so let's jump right into it q a saturdays with mike uh -huh. no okay that was that was really cheesy all right let's jump into the first section here to capture I get a lot of emails. You guys do not know how to configure to capture, uh, even though it's very easy and self-explanatory. Let me explain it to you guys here so that you can better understand it. Some people better understand things uh, through video, through being told um, via audio. So to capture, first thing we're going to do, we're going to register a to capture account on their website. We're going to open our browser and we're going to go to the to capture website, which I already have open because I'm awesome. So once you've signed up, there will be an icon or some sort of word that says sign up. So just hit it, sign up for it. It's very simple. It's just a few uh, inputs of your information and uh, you do need a credit card to add funds. I would you use uh, PayPro. That's their first option. And the minimum balance you need to have for PayPro is $10 in your account. So once you have added the funds, you'll see the funds show up right here. Then you go into the settings. Click settings. You want to find your capture key. It's a, a very long string of numbers right here. You take your capture key and you copy it. Okay, you open up Notepad and you paste your CAPTCHA key into Notepad, like so. And you can, you can paste your email address too. I just copied my email from here. I copied both things and pasted it into Notepad. And then you are going to open Poshmark Pro Tools. You're gonna go to your Configuration and Settings tab. You're going to put your CAPTCHA key in the first line. And for the to CAPTCHA username, you're gonna put your email address. And then you're going to put your two capture password. So I have done all three, and then I press configure. Once you press configure, your total balance is going to show up, and that's how you know you were successful. So there you go. That's two capture. It's very simple. Let's go over the steps again. Number one, register a two capture account. Go to settings. Copy the API key onto the Notepad. And you copy the capture key from Notepad to Poshmark Pro Tools Configuration Settings tab. And then your email and password. Just press configure and your balance will show up. That's how you know it's successful. So I'm glad that you guys understand that now, which I hope you do. Uh, if you guys are still not getting it, please shoot me an email. I will do maybe like a screen share or something to help you guys better understand it. So let's move on to the next section, closets. I received an email this week from a girl named Alice. By the way, thank you very much, Alice, for sending me that email. And um, basically, she said, hey, Mike, um, I'm going to pull up the email here. Okay, so I have the email here from Alice. Uh, this was yesterday, last night says, Mike, recently my sales dropped a lot. I think Poshmark may have changed their algorithm. Before, when I started to share 200 feed items, I used to get 100 shares back, or hundreds of shares back, 
Now when I do the same, I only get very few sharebacks. Same when I share my own closet. I also added four more, 400 more items, but sales still drop a lot. Okay, Alice, I'm just going to let you know, um, Poshmark might have changed their algorithm. Uh, they might not have. But in any case, the things that you have to realize is, number one, you're still not sharing your closet by hand. So that's a benefit. You have the bot to experiment with. You have all this automation software, and uh, you can do different things with it. You do not have to just stick with the same routine that you've been doing. If you see something's not working, change it up a little bit, even if you have to share less. Sometimes sharing less is more, especially if Poshmark might have changed their algorithm. That means more shares does not uh, necessarily mean you're going that more people are going to see your items recently I've uh, come to the realization that sometimes less is best um, by sharing your closet one or two loops Poshmark might let other people see your closet for longer um, if you're sharing more than one or two loops in a certain amount of time Poshmark might say hey I'm not gonna we're not gonna show this person's closet to anybody because they're sharing too much so you need to find a sweet spot. You need to experiment a little bit with different settings rather than the same old settings that you've been trying. Uh, let's read the rest of the email. I tried Pro Leads. It doesn't make much changes. In Pro Tools, follow and unfollow. If I follow 200 closets, I will get a third of the follow backs. However, with Pro Leads, I've followed nearly 4,000 people. Only very few people follow back. I need to figure out what went wrong before I buy an upgrade, but I appreciate your help very much. Thank you, Alice. Well, Alice, first off, thank you so much for reaching out. So in the first part here, you tried Pro Leads. It doesn't make much changes. So you're saying that in Pro Tools, uh, Pro Tools is better for following than Pro Leads. Yes and no. Uh, also, it depends on which, which keyword you are following for that you're targeting. Um, if you see a, a specific keyword isn't working in Poshmark Pro Leads, try a different keyword. Remember, when you follow people, um, the, I, as far as I know, there is no algorithm for following. Um, it's pretty much straightforward. When you follow someone, they either follow you back or they do not. And uh, Poshmark, as far as I know, does not hide your closet from anyone else. Like I said, if you follow someone, they're going to see your closet. If they like your closet, they're going to follow you back. But there are just some people out there that just follow blindly. They follow back blindly without even looking at your closet. But that's, you know, like a third of the people on Poshmark will do that. Um, some people actually um, take the time out to check out the person that followed them. If they like what's in their closet, they're going to follow them back. So, for instance, if you targeted the word Prada and you do not have any Prada items in your closet, is that person more likely to follow you back or less likely? You have to look at it that way. It depends on the keywords that you're, you're targeting. So, number one, always target the keywords of the brands that are in your closet. Because it's going to make a hell of a difference when people follow you back or not. Number two, I'm sorry to say this. I'm not singling you out because I've never seen your closet before. But sometimes if your closet sucks, nobody's going to follow you back. Nobody's going to want to have anything to do with your closet unless they just are nice and want to follow you back. But this is business and, uh, I mean, some of it's social, but most people just like what they see and we'll take it from there so if they don't like what they see you know try to put yourself in their shoes would you um, want to follow someone back who has hardly anything in their closet and no followers that must tell you something now some people do take it that seriously I personally kind of in the middle I'll follow someone back if their closet is nice I like to have quality people on my following list I don't just follow anybody. 
But uh, let me show you an example of two different closets so you kind of get what I'm saying. Here's a, cl a closet with um, 47 followers. I don't know how new this person is, but you can kind of tell by their pictures are kind of dark. Um, there's not really too much light in their pictures. You can hardly tell any details about the items that are in this closet. And uh, I did a search and I did some research. I saw a few other people's closets who were a little nicer, such as this person has bright photos. Um, a lot, Guys, use stock photos if you have to. Stock photos, <laughs> they go a long way and you're allowed to use them. Uh, well, in most cases, you're allowed to use them, especially if you order your stuff from like AliExpress. You're really you're allowed to use their stock photos. So if you're sourcing from AliExpress, that is a great way to get pictures. Uh, you can see this person's pictures are bright. Uh, they show a lot of detail. There's a lot of pictures with the person wearing the item, which is very important. Try to get some pictures of the person wearing the item, or if you want to try the item on yourself, if you're not camera shy, you could take some pictures with you wearing the stuff also. It's going to give people a better idea of what the item looks like worn. Now, this person's got some nice pictures, some nice product squares, uh, some images for product, product squares, like some promotional images and stuff. She's got about 121,000 followers. And she's only following 28 people. Hmm. That's a little uh, little body, maybe. Huh. I'm not going to point fingers. But, like I said, just take a look at this person's closet. I would want to follow someone like this. Because they have quality stuff. It looks like they take pride in their closet. It's not just slopped together and thrown together real quick. They took time for each listing. Let's click on a listing. Look, there's a few pictures for each listing. They took the time out to show you details of the items. There's a lot of pictures of each listing. So this is great. This person has over a thousand listings anyway. Uh, I could just click on any listing. I could see multiple pictures. So yeah, you know, this person does deserve the followers that she has. She really takes time and puts the effort into her closet. Unlike this person, kind of just slopped together, thrown together real quick. I understand people don't have the time to do it, but you don't have to do your whole closet in one day. That's the problem here. Uh, most people just want to throw something together real quick and just, you know, try to slap 50 items up in like an hour. That's not going to work. It's not going to come out nice. Really take your time on each listing it's gonna pay off in the end you're gonna make more sales just regardless uh, regardless if you have automation software or not that does not always mean that you're gonna make sales right away it is just a tool guys it's just a tool it's 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 just really doing you guys a favor so you guys don't have to do this manually use it more of a tool um, if you've ever said to yourself in the back of your head hey I wish uh, I didn't have to do this manually you know, what the stuff that I could do if I had automation software. Think of those days, the days when you did not have automation software. You know, try to appreciate it a little bit and do what you, you would do manually, but enhance it a little bit. Uh, you know, do it more regularly. Now that you have the software, you don't have to sit there all day and do it by hand. You can just click a few buttons and it'll start. So take advantage of that. And follow the guidelines, get a nice closet together, take some time on your listings, one by one, do a few listings per day, as long as they come out nice and you use a lot of pictures for each, use bright pictures, stock photos, put some really good descriptions in there, no spelling er er errors, punctuation errors, um, those can turn people off. So, um, to answer your question, Alice... Number one, check your own closet. Make sure it's appealing to people. Number two, use Poshmark Pro Tools more of more as a tool rather than a bot, rather than a, a, a magic button that you can press and get sales. 
Number three, experiment with different settings. Absolutely do this. Um, if you see that something's not working out, try it a little less, try it a little more. Try to find the sweet spot to where you're, you're seeing it working for you. Try a different keyword. Um, try following less people and see if less people follow you back. If, like I, like, uh, let, me, let me put it as try following instead of 1,000 people, try following 250 people. See how many of them follow you back. Um, if that's working, increase it to 500 people and then a thousand. So you're not wasting your time every single time. You want to test in small increments rather than um, big time wasting increments. So Alice, I hope that answers your question and I hope that helps a few other people out here who are having the same problem. A little added bonus, I wanted to talk about those of you who run multiple um, instances of Poshmark Pro Tools and have multiple keys, uh, license keys, I don't know what your setup is, but if you guys are running it on multiple computers, that can be very costly, and um, uh, the, it's just a lot of electricity. Uh, I like to pretty much condense everything, consolidate. I don't like to run too many machines in my house, less chance of a fire, and it is um, it costs a lot less. So the solution to that would be a Green Cloud VPS account. Green Cloud VPS is awesome. They have really great servers. You can get a Windows server for just $8 a month uh, compared to what you make on Poshmark or if you are um, a virtual assistant, if, if you share and follow for other people, um, this can be very cost effective because it's only $8 a month and you don't have to worry about electricity. Um, so if you're making X amount of money every week or every month, um, this is only eight dollars so if you weigh the cost out <laughs> it's really nothing and plus you don't have to run multiple machines you can just connect to different IP addresses that are set in your Windows system or your Mac system that's the beautiful part about the VPS is that you can run it um, you can run this even if you have a Mac you can run Poshmark Pro Tools on the VPS all you need to do is um, visit the link that I'm going to put in the description and grab yourself a Green Cloud VPS account for only $8 a month. They're very reliable, very fast, and um, I have a few myself that I use. So that's pretty much it for Q&A Saturdays. Um, if you guys have any other questions, please email them to me during the week. I'll be more than happy to answer them at any time in the next video. So... Um, I hope you guys have a great week, a great weekend. It's beautiful weather out. It's my wife's birthday, so we're going away. But um, until next time, I'll see you guys around.